Hey, so this is uh, should be video five of div two. Um, in this video, I will try to dissect the sample data that Saunders gave us and explain how everything works, so that you can create your own and understand it. And uh, yeah, so see if you go to the description, get the Excel document, Google document, and just uh, Control A, Control C paste it on in there. It won't copy a little because it's a maximum of uh, I think like a thousand fields maybe or something, I'm not sure. Um, so you come back down here and get the rest of journal. Copy that. Delete that. Oops. Click right there. Paste. Now you have it all in an Excel document so you can change it. Because in the Google document you can't change it. It's just for people to copy over or save if they want. You'd also do the same thing by just saying file, save, download as Excel if you wanted to. Um, so I'm going to try to go through all this stuff and try to explain to you how it works. Um, first thing, you have your investor. Um, this is investor. This is the person who's giving you um, investing into your company. Jay Thunder is another investor giving you, um, you know, money for your company, investing in your company. Um, Rents R Us is your business name. You can change that to anything you want. DVD Wholesale is your supplier. So you change that to if you were selling, um, you know, uh, anything, if you were selling cars, maybe, or whatever you were selling, uh, You'd be selling bubblegum, maybe, then whatever your supplier would be, you would change that to, you know, bubblegum wholesale or whatever you want. Walk up customers, we could actually, instead of just having it be one right here, we could actually have it be, um, we could insert a shift down, oops. Maybe we could do uh, insert shift down, maybe. Okay. Uh, we could do. Six, we could say, um, you know, Steve Jobs, maybe, or I guess Job Steve. Uh, let's say, you know, Job Steve is one of our customers. You know, menu type could be uh, a customer, I guess. And so let's say that Steve Jobs comes into our store. We could add him as a customer. Um, and so in our tables down here, we could have it that he is the person who's buying instead of just saying some customer because this really isn't as detailed as we want um, this just describes all customers I guess anyone that just doesn't uh, have a who isn't, who isn't in our database I guess so let's say Steve Jobs is you know ID 6 now so let's go down here and look at so that's the BE table Let's go down here to the orders detail uh, orders table. Um, order ID two hundred, BE ID one. So if we go up to BE ID one, it says investor. And let's look at what that says. Let's see. It says accounting date seven three, and that's for the journal seven three. Type it says sales, which means that we made money. You know, we were getting money getting money in. Um, credit debit, negative one because it's sales. Whoops, Daisy. Don't want that. Uh, there we go. Um, and entered by is the BE ID of the user who is logged in when you entered um, the, the data, when you or when you made the order. So it would probably be, let's say that you had one more here, and you had um, uh, Mr. Cashier. Um, this is the or this is uh well, yeah, cashier is fine. So this is the, your salesperson, maybe. You know, this could be your salesperson who is working at the register who does the um, you know, this the sales orders for you. So instead of entered by by one, which would be investor, it would really be probably by the cashier who would be seven. 
So let's change all these to seven. Whoops. Um, and so now it looks like the salesperson the, has done all of this. You know, has a uh, was logged in when these orders took place. And so let's see here. Let's um. So this first one right here that we were talking about says order ID 200. So let's go up to order details table and let's look at order ID 200. There's two here. This first one, this first detail says GSID 102. So if we go down to GSID 102, it says paid and capital. It should say paid and capital. Um, and it says ledger N is 3000, ledger out is 3000. If we go to our chart of accounts, 3,000 we know is owner's equity. So what happened here was, um, since it said BEID 1, which is investor, this means that if we go to the details, it shows the investor, since it's owner's equity, the investor has given us money, or has taken money out of owner's equity. So that's negative 10,000. And then you have order ID 200 again. So it's the same order and GSID 101, which means cash down here. And ledger N says 1000, which is the cash account, ledger cash account. Um, and it says 10,000. So we received 10,000 in cash. That's what that means. Then the next two are actually the exact same thing, but it's a different order. It's the it's order ID 201. But if we go down to 201, it says B ID of 2. Which means if we go up to B table, J Thunder gave us the money. So this these this means that this first one means, or I guess these first two, means that investor gave us ten thousand. The next two means J Thunder gave us ten thousand into our company. The next one says order ID two oh two. Order ID 202 is a purchase order, which means that we purchased something. It took money out of our uh, cash account. So if we see here, we see it says GSID 103. 103 says rent cost. Default cost of 3000. Ledger end of 5040. Ledger out 5040. Chart of accounts. 5040 means Actually, it's supposed to be 50 50. I think that's when we had a typo in there in class. So we actually changed that to 50 50. 50 50. Um, so this is a rent cost right here. And we look at right here and say, okay, that's rent cost. Um, it says the cost of 3000. It's positive because it's uh, not. It's money uh, that we're paying, I guess. And it's a purchase order. If we go to the next line, or this is this is really we're we're gaining the rent, right? So that's why it's three thousand positive because we're getting something. But right here we have to pay cash, which would be negative three thousand. Whoops. Yeah. It'd be uh, negative one three thousand, which would be negative three thousand cash coming out of our you know, cash account. Um, GSID 101 is cash, like we know. Uh, order ID 202, so it's the same order. So we just gained rent by giving cash. That's what this means. Let's say that you wanted to change it so that you also had to pay for utilities, or you had to pay for telephone, or you had to pay for internet access. Let's say we had to do. Let's say we wanted to do utilities as well. Um, well, what we'd have to do is we'd have to maybe copy this, paste it right there. Um, name this one 106. Name it utilities. Say the cost is you know 500 maybe. Um, Got to get the ledger in and ledger out right, we have to get 5060. 
And then now we're gonna use this GSID 106. So let's say we see if this works. It kind of works. Okay, so let's uh, let's make this 112 though, even though it's out of order. It's okay if we're just showing you how to do it, but you would prob probably want to make it um, you know, 304 here, 305, 306, 307. Keep on going. Um, but 312, order ID 202, because it's all this. We're gonna have it be all the same order. GSID. It's gonna be 106. Quantity can be one. The cost we had is 500 is by d d default. Uh, 5060 is the ledger account. So now that works, but we still need to fix it down in the um, journal and trial balance because now we have uh, 500 here. We also need to fix this, say 3500. So now we have um, a 500 in the 5060 account on order 202, which would be 202 says 73, happened on 73. So we would have to add in here. A, just need it to say utilities here. We would need it to say um, 500. And then we would need to have cash go down by 500 because it's no longer 3,000. Now it's going by by down by 3,500. So the difference is 500, negative 500. So subtract this by 500. We get 1650 or 1,600. And it nets zero. You can check it if you want. Um, and then we would need to add another thing right here that says 50, 60, 500. And right here would be the cash account. And we would need to subtract this by uh, 500. So we could say minus 500 or equals minus 500. And there you go. And that's what it would look like now because we just added utilities to our um, purchase on uh, 202, which would be 73, which uh, was BEID 3, which is actually who purchased that? It would be Rents R Us purchased that, so our business purchased it, which makes sense. He purchased rent, he purchased utilities, and so if you just continue to do what I did there was dissect all of these one by one and look at who was doing what and how much it was and the ledger ID, look at the chart of accounts, see what it means. Um, you could have it so that your company purchases a vehicle or purchases some real estate or does furniture or you know you could have it so that you know, your company can do anything you want. Um, and let's see, uh, so like right here, I'm gonna try to do a brief description of the next ones. Um, let's see, uh, this is 204. We skipped 203 order. Uh, 204 right here is three things. What happened here was our company purchased, uh, or we yeah we purchased from the uh, DVD wholesale two DVDs. We purchased uh, Blazing Saddles and Harry Potter, and this is us paying for it. And then if you take 100 times 2, 100 times 4, that should equal the cash right here. So if you wanted to, you could add it so that you um, purchased another you know, item. You, you could add an item down here, another DVD down here. You'd say that you purchased another DVD. Um, you could, uh, then down here it shows that you actually sold it to some customers. Um, you sold a DVD of uh, Blazing Saddles, and then you sold a DVD here of um, Harry Potter. I'm going to stop the video and I'll continue real quick of uh, what I was just talking about on the next video.